Hi there, Terry Bailey, Senior Minister of Indian Run Christian Church, talking again about songs in the Bible. We began with David's instruction in Psalm 96 that the people of God should always sing unto him a new song because God is always doing a new work among the peoples. We then looked at some examples of this happening, a couple of songs written by Moses on the occasion of the Red Sea and again on the eve of the people entering into the promised land and the purposes of those songs. And then in uh, the book of Judges, the song of Deborah and Barak. And I'd like to look at another one today. This is probably the longest structured song in the Bible. It's from the book of Isaiah. It begins here in chapter 25, although there's some preliminary singing, I think, in chapter 24. And it goes all the way through chapter 3. 35 before it comes to an end. And I'm just going to read a single verse. Chapter 25, verse 1 says, O Lord, you are my God, and I will exalt you. I will give thanks to your name, for you have worked wonders, plans formed long ago with perfect faithfulness. Now, a lot of the rest of this song is about the way that God is going to judge the peoples whom he will use to uh, correct Israel. And there's a lot of rotting corpses and nations dissolving like a shadow in the fierce sunlight and all of that in there. And it comes down again at the end to the happy future of Zion as the people finally learn to trust their God. But the point I'd like to take from it is that God has these plans from forever ago and He sees them through with perfect faithfulness. Nothing in the times of which the prophet Isaiah spoke could come as a surprise to God, for his plans had been laid out before the foundations of the earth. And nothing that happens to us today can come as a surprise to God, for he made these plans before the foundations of the earth, and he still will execute them with perfect faithfulness and for our good, even when certain elements of his plan seem harsh to us. They are still for our good, and there is still a happy future for those who will at long last, past all judgments, learn to trust God. This was the lesson the Israelites needed to learn and the song that Isaiah composed to help them learn it. And I guess it's a long song because it's a hard lesson and we still struggle with it. But in the midst of this or any other crisis, I want you to remember that God made His plans long before we were born and He will execute them with perfect faithfulness. And a happy future remains for those who will be led by his plan. Would you pray with me? Father, help us to hear these words sung by your servant Isaiah so long ago and to be encouraged in the midst of these present trials and hardships. And I pray, Father, that you would fill us with new songs so that those who come after will have the same experience, that they will know from us and from our understandings of your work that your plans are from long ago and executed with perfect faithfulness to lead us to that happy future. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen.